Oh, I just thought I'd do a quick video to show everyone how to use VCDS to look at the central lock-in. Uh, we're in VCDS, go into select control module, you want to go to number 46, which is central convenience. There is a 35 central locks, which sometimes causes confusion, but on the Mark 1, it's under 46, central convenience. So go into that module. If it then connects to that module, then you can be pretty sure that your CCM is working all right. It's definitely got power and ground, obviously, and is communicating with the CAN bus system as a whole. Um, you can go into fault codes. I haven't got any fault codes stored. But um, if you look at my other previous, uh, my other video on my channel, you'll see that I did previously have some fault codes stored, and uh, it'll put them up there for what they are. Uh, go into measuring blocks number eight. Want to go into measuring block nine? Go. Okay. Measuring block ten. Go. Okay. And twelve as well. I think is also useful. Go. Okay. So group nine shows central locking feedback. So that tells you whether the doors are locked or unlocked. You see the passenger side here. If I lock it, it's now locked. If I unlock it, unlocked, obviously. So if I press the switch on the driver's door, there you go. You can see they're all now locked, all unlocked. Rotary lap switches. This is actually the sensor that detects whether the doors are open or closed. So you can see if I open the passenger door here, Doors now open, close the passenger door, doors now closed. Uh, the CAN bus ones there, 12, just shows whether the modules are actually communicating with the CAN bus system properly. Uh, yeah, I hope that's of some use to anyone who's having any problems with it. You can also go into events measuring values as well while I'm here, and there's a, there's a load of extra stuff in that menu there. Um, that you can actually pick and choose from. I'm not sure what some of it does, but um, you can see you've got electric window uh, things there, the child safety switch as well, things like that. You know, if you press that, you can see it's on and off and things like that. Anything else that you could use to troubleshoot, you've got the electric mirror adjustment switches, um, all that sort of thing. Uh, what else you got here? Supply voltage, so you can check the voltage. Mine's a little bit low because the car's just been sat here. Uh, yeah, so you've got other things, tailgate, hood, and that sort of thing. Immobiliser key recognition, so it tells you uh, stuff to do with the immobiliser. And uh, other stuff in there which might be useful if you're having problems with your, uh, with your central locking. I hope that's some use to you. Cheers.